Ashwin, today we will discuss about the concentration term which is given in your NCRT book chapter 1st. In concentration term, firstly we are discuss about the molarity, molarity. The molarity is represented by capital M. The molarity represented by capital M. Molarity is the mole of solute. Molarity is the mole of solute present in 1 liter of solution. The molarity is the mole of solute present in 1 liter of solution. That means when we dissolve some sugar particles in water, some mole of sugar particles in water, 1 liter of water, then easy to find molarity because the formula of molarity is moles of solute by volume of solution in liter. When in a question given mole of solute given and volume of solution given. Dear student, in a solution there are two components present. One component solute and other is solvent. The lesser amount component, the component which present in smaller amount, smaller quantity is known as solute. The component which present in major quantity, major amount is known as solvent. And solute, solute plus solvent make solution. Solute and solvent make a solution. Here written mole of solute means a smaller quantity component upon volume of solution. The solution means solute, amount of solute, volume of solute plus volume of solvent. That means solution. Okay. When you solve the molarity, when you calculate the molarity of a given question, then you put the formula. Molarity is equal to mole of solute upon volume of solution in liter. Dear student, you know that mole represented by M O L, the amount of substance, the unit of amount of substance is mole. A mole represent by symbol M O L, and volume of solution, volume is represented by liter. So the unit of the molarity is mole per liter. It also written as molar. At the place of mole per liter, we also write as molar or capital M. Here the meaning of capital M is molar. A student, here mole of solute upon volume of solution into molarity. If in a question, if in a question ask what is the mole of solute, then you change the formula and formula became when you transfer the volume this side, the formula is become mole equal to molarity into volume of solution. Okay. Now we are discuss molarity, molarity here molarity capital M here molarity small m molarity is the mole of solute mole of solute dissolved in 1 kilogram 
of solvent dear student the major difference in molar molarity and molality is first is capital m here yeah, small m second is dissolve in 1 kg of solvent here 1 liter of solution for the finding molarity we say that amount of solute mole of solute dissolve in 1 liter of solution but in case of molarity we say that a um, mole of solute dissolving 1 kg 1 kg of solvent not solution okay here solvent on here solvent plus solute that means solution okay i think you understand the major difference between molarity and molarity is capital m small m in 1 liter of solution here in 1 kg of solvent the formula is of molarity is small m means molarity molarity is equal to mole of solute mole of solute upon mass of solvent in kg in 1 kg okay student you know that the unit of moles represented by m o l and mass of solvent in kg the unit is here unit is kg so the unit of molarity is mole per kg but mole per kg also replaced by molar here major difference between mo, uh, molarity and molarity molarity and molarity is molar for molarity and molar for molarity molarity represented by capital m where molarity represented by small m okay i think to understand about the difference between molarity and molarity and what is the formula of molarity molarity and molarity okay now solve some questions given here the question is calculate the number of h2so4 molecule present in 500 ml of 0.5 molar your capital m capital m is molar molar solution is in this question here put in questions uh, ask number of h2so4 number of h2so4 molecule and given 500 ml 500 ml volume of solution and molarity of solution they are given molarity of solution and volume of solution and ask number of sulfuric acid molecule yes friends first for the solving this question you know that the formula of molarity is mole of solute upon volume of solution in liter okay in question molarity is given and volume also given and you know that the formula of number of molecule is number of molecule equal to mole into m that means for the calculation number of molecule of h2so4 firstly you calculate mole of solutions mole of solution so 
for the calculation molar solution you modified this equation modified this formula when you modified for the calculation of mole you transfer here then formula became mole equal to mole equal to molarity into volume molarity into volume put the value of given molarity here the molarity is 0.5 molar so put the value 0.5 at the place of molarity it means capital m and the volume of solution volume of solution given here 500 ml but in the formula volume of solution retained in liter in liter first firstly convert 500 ml into liter or the conversion ml into liter it divided by the 1000 so 500 upon 1000 then it written as in liter in in 500 in liter 500 by 1000 okay 500 by 1000 is the volume of solution dear student we cut the zero with zero and obtain 5 from the 5 5 to the 10 1 by 2 here and when 0.5 divided by 1 by 2 we find 0.5 mole of the solution 0.025 is the mole of solution okay now apply the formula number of molecule is equal to mole into na you already calculate the mole of solution the mole of solution is 0.25 dear student 0.25 also written 1 by 4 For for earlier for solve time the solving the questions you use zero point five at the place of zero point five two five one by four and put here we have mole equal to zero point two five into you know that our value number. Is six point zero two two into ten power twenty three. Approximately six into ten power twenty three. After the multiply, we obtain one point five into ten power twenty three is the value of number of molecule H two SO four. Finally, we sort out the problem. Which are given in the questions. Yes, friend. In short, in short, this question solved in short one by four into six into ten power twenty three. If you divide six by four, you obtain one point five. Okay. Now calculate another problem. The problem is. Calculate the density of one mole of oxygen at NTP. Desperate here. NTP means normal temperature pressure. Normal temperature is room temperature. Room temperature is twenty five degrees Celsius. Pressure is seven sixty or one eighty. Seven sixty mm S C or one eighty. Okay. Now. Here, in this questions, ask the density of density. The density question is, what is the density? What is the density of one mole? The mole of oxygen given here. One mole of oxygen. Oxygen. One mole of oxygen. Dear student, here NTP use of NTP. Here. You know that at the NTP, any means normal temperature pressure or room temperature. 
oxygen is gas so if in this question discuss oxygen as a gas because NTP written here as a gas NTP at NTP oxygen as a gas and oxygen is a bi diatomic molecule okay so the molecular formula of oxygen is 32 32 the molecular formula of oxygen is 32 because at NTP oxygen is gas and biomolecular gas okay for the solutions of density firstly we calculate the mass because the then formula of density is mass by volume formula of density is mass by volume here firstly we find mass then find volume you know that mass of one mole oxygen mole of mass of mass of one mole any molecule is the molar mass do you understand molar mass molar mass means mass of one mole substance here mass of one mole oxygen means molar mass of oxygen you know that Ma molar mass of oxygen means O2 is 32 now ok so next find the volume volume of one mole of gas because here gas here we use the gas because at NTP at NTP normal temperature pressure at normal temperature pressure oxygen is a gas for any gas for any gas one mole gas for any one mole gas the volume is 22.4 liter okay so we have mass of oxygen and volume of oxygen so put the value put the value in the formula of density mass at the place of mass 32 and 32 gram 32 gram and at the place of volume 22.4 liter after the calculation we get 1.42 1.42 and the unit gram per liter gram per liter dear student take a screenshot about the given content on, on whiteboard and write down in your notebook please solve the question given in NCRT chapter 1 some basic concept of chemistry thank you very much